Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Iori Folani. Well, it's Monday, and from last week we've been talking about this, so this is the day that the um, Senate President and his deputy, and for that matter, the past uh, uh, clerk of the uh, Senate, as well as his deputy, will all be arraigned uh, before a high court. Um, in the, in the you know, sort of build up to it, all sorts of commentary has gone on. And this morning, one of the papers is talking about, um, you know, uh, questions that have arisen over what is, might be seen as the sanctity of the legislature. Um, uh, my guest this morning, uh, we've got our friends, uh, Ken Okolubo, who is uh, a politician. He was a one time, he's a one time commissioner in Delta State. Thank you very much for coming on. It's Ken. always my pleasure. And uh, Mr. Chooks Wonko, public affairs analyst and um, publisher of MDG magazine. Thanks for coming on, Chooks. Good morning. I'm glad to be this, here. This whole matter about um, it's a criminal charge because it's forgery. Um, it's unprecedented. It hasn't happened before at this kind <coughs> of a level, not in my memory. Um, but you don't just go to court if there is nothing to take there. I imagine too many highly important people, very busy people are involved. You must research it. You must know that you have something the judge won't throw out and then so on and so on and so, so, so forth. But then we're beginning to hear about the sanctity uh, of the legislature by some co uh, commentators uh, questioning whether that sanctity is in any sort of peril or danger as a result of events that are unfolding, culminating in the arraignment today. Uh, Ken, uh, how do you see this whole matter of sanctity when you put it right next to what effectively is a criminal charge? Well, um, when you say sanctity here, people are a bit conscious of the fact that there was a petition and the petition was basically from, you know, you have the Unity Forum, <laughs> you understand? The, the, the petition was from within the Senate. It was within the Senate. Yes. Senator Marafa, Senator Benga Ashafa, mm -hmm. all the senators that were opposed to the emergence of Saraki were those that wrote this petition to the police. And when you now say sanctity, sanctity is relative in terms that if I have a fight within myself as a body and one group writes another petition, it therefore shows that it is all about the upper legislative arm we're talking about, since we run a bicameral system of legislature. And the important aspect you must look at it here is, when that petition was written, it was written, why was it written? It was written, the sole essence of that petition is to make sure Saraki and Ikwaramadu lose their positions as the president of the Senate and the deputy uh, president of the Senate. Now you're looking at the police investigation. Uh, a poli police, they are they must investigate any petition that they think is what well. And in a criminal matter, you are, we're looking at Section 136 of the, of the Evidence Act. You must go beyond reasonable doubt. Mm. Any shadow of doubt is resolved in mm -hmm. favor of the accused. Mm -hmm. What bothers my mind here, why I relate it to the issue of sanctity that you have talked about, is there is no doubt that I have looked at the, the rules the rules 2011 and the rules 2015, the fundamental difference are, are basically two things. One, the same must is the semantic, or the shall, or that's all the senators shall be present during the inauguration of the Senate. The 2015 says entitled to be present. So there is no compulsion. Then the second aspect is 2011 was open balloting 2015 is secret balloting now look at Sig it. significant differences. Sign significant differences. significant because significant differences the senators see it as this amendment aided the emergence of that is the senators that wrote the petition mm -hmm. the emergence of saraki and Ikwerimado. but what bothers my mind here is is it possible for saraki who was not yet the senate president who was only a floor member as at the night of June, the early hours of the night of June, he was not yet the Senate president. Ekwere had already was, was transiting from being the deputy Senate president to becoming a floor member at the early hours of the night of June 2015. How possible is it that instructions would have been given by Saraki to Mike Asawa, who was the uh, clerk of the house, and Ifeturi, who is the deputy clerk of the house, to go and alter the rule process? 
I don't see the possibility of it. Okay. There is no fine, there is fine. no correlation. Okay. Thank that's you. why that's Thank who you. went to the printers, who printed okay. the rules. It, it's it's, it's it, going it, to come. Those are the questions that, it, that, that bother my that bothers me. It, and, and in the and, police and that's, report, and, and that's why and we in have the police report that was published. I I, I haven't seen the, the police suggesting that you should charge Saraki and Ikwere Okay. They only referred it back to the office of the Attorney General for legal and, advice. And that's why yes. uh, the the courts are going to have to pronounce on this. Absolutely. It is the courts that are going to have to pronounce on this uh, because, and thank you very, very much, Ken, for setting out, you know, the scenario and in particular the major differences. There's a difference between shall, which means that uh, you know, we're not arguing about it. You must be there. Otherwise, it's not as prescribed. And then this whole matter entitled. about entitled, which, you know, you can give up an entitlement. Yes. Uh, so mm -hmm. th 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 that's there on the one hand and then the other one. Um, give me your thoughts because this matter is coming up and it's been pointed out before that people don't make up the national, it's not a certain person that is the National Assembly and people have said that, please, when we're looking at this matter, is it, is it not possible for us to sort of separate individuals from the institution? If an individual is a member of an, an institution and then, you know, reportedly or allegedly, but I'm not particularly referring to this particular case, if he misbehaves it is not the institution that has misbehaved people have made that point what do you think essentially my thought straight on uh, is that i'm amazed at the volume of our national rhetorics politically speaking uh, the politics controls everything and that's why we are where we are i'm bothered about the volume of the dialogue that is constantly going on <laughs> around these characters. But I'm also or around this issue. No, characters, politicians. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But are you you're referring to the arraignment? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Because finally, I want to say to you, in all of this grammar that is going back and forth, whether it's rhetorics, narrative, dialogue, sir, in our lives, whether it's a Saraki or a Kwerim, whether it's a National Assembly in the presidency, whether it's in Nigeria, there's a cost and there's an effect. When a politician gets lawless and you are cautioning him, look, come around, this thing is going to backfire, he will tell you. He, he's a politician, so I'm sure he will agree that when we get to the bridge, that we will cross it. I think we are at the bridge this morning. We will go to court. And when we get to the court, the court will have to join issues and make their position known. But at the time this thing was going on, I can imagine, it does not take a, how many minutes does it take a print? I mean, if you have a print, I have a printed press in my house. You can roll out things. How many minutes does it just make an adjustment and you roll out it? So with these politicians, nothing is impossible. My, my, my delight this morning is that eventually, even mm -hmm. though it was since last year that this thing happened, mm -hmm. the court will throw light on this matter mm -hmm. and we citizens will benefit. Mm -hmm. But I am shocked to know that when they are doing these things, even as we speak here right now, most of us do not know that for every action, there's a cost and there's an effect. Every action has a reaction. Everything. And then, and then you can trail this right back to... There's uh, a cost and there's an effect okay. in everything. So no. we need to see the effect of that mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. The cost, we have been bearing it as citizens. Okay. Come here this morning, time has been spent. Unfortunately, time is not something you can redeem. But now, let the courts look at it and tell us, who is in the right and who is in the wrong. Indeed. But that you think you are too big to j be jailed. We have gone too far. We need to begin to punish well, wrongs. We don't even know that anybody is going to be jailed. But conviction is what is either when, when that time comes, yeah. you are either going to be discharged. I use that uh -huh. word figuratively. Okay. That somebody needs to be, every time mm -hmm. you do wrong, mm -hmm. to bring sanctity into the national institutions, mm. into our lives. And, and Ken, Ken also spoke about um, the uh, original cause as he saw it. Uh, and the intended uh, effect of, of this whole process, mm -hmm. which he related to, uh, you know, paraphrasing his words, getting Saraki and Ekwere Madu out of office. Now, that might be the way that it is being seen. Uh, there is also some truth in the fact that the way the good senator arrived in office. That's politics for you. Well, that's politics for yeah, you. Was not, football, was not, not entirely not in accord. Was or you're going to be given a card. It was not in was accord with his party. Absolutely. But having said that, you can't take a person to court for doing something that we're not happy with. 
in our party. You can't take a person to court for that. And so the issue here is really, it, it, it's a one of forgery. Is it a crime? Yeah. It's a forgery issue. <coughs> and if, in spite of that underlying current, yes. if there is no forgery found, quite frankly, everything is going to be thrown out. Absolutely. Oh, well, certainly, uh, Yuri. You know why I speak is, uh, Nigerians are quick to judge. Uh, as much as I'm, I'm not holding brief for Sarah Kiani mm -hmm. Kuremado here, mm -hmm. it's very key for us to know that the courts, they go on facts. It's the facts before the exactly. judge and the evidence before and the, the judge evidence. that the judge is going to use. It's not by whipping up sentiments. Why I painted the scenario I painted initially was I was bothered about the fact that these people had no powers prior to their inauguration. The two people who should really be answering this question is Mike Asawa and Ifituri, the clerk and the deputy clerk. They were the ones that had the absolute power to inaugurate the assembly. They were the ones that were in position, in position to know who gave them this rules book, which they distributed among all the senators, which was used not only in electing Saraki and Ekwere Madu, but was also used in making sure the ministers were confirmed, making sure that all the uh, budgets that we are talking about were passed into law. And so it goes a lot. Somebody is saying and these it, things should I, not be questioned. Yes. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But on what premises are we questioning it? I what I'm you. coming from here is that the work, the duty of the Attorney General is to punish so that it will act as a deterrent. Well, at so least that, to prosecute. Yes, to prosecute so that it will act as a deterrent. Now, the Attorney General is a final bus stop. The police can investigate. I have been a victim of such circumstance. And maybe in the course of the program, if I had the time, I'll give it as an example, which will also help Nigerians. The, it gets to the Attorney General. The Attorney General looks at the case file and says, oh, no, we have to prosecute. But I will tell you, you're more often than not, Attorney Generals prosecute because they want to be malicious. They want to be wicked. I'm, well. not, I'm not saying it because of this case. Yeah. But we have seen it. <laughs> How do you now checkmate the power of that Attorney General okay. who wants to just be wicked and malicious? That's the question it, you it, must it, ask. Okay, because okay, the power of the Attorney General I, is very wide. Uh, okay, very, Ken. very wide. Uh, thank, and uh, very powerful. I, I hear you, Ken. Yes. But I don't think uh, wickedness is one of the attributes of uh, a contender for the position of Attorney General. No. Uh, I said some attorney generals. Okay, some. Some. That is why I said some, some. Some. I have been a victim. Maybe that's why I'm speaking. Okay. Do you understand? Mm. Okay, let me give you an instance. As a serving commissioner, I was, I was charged to court by an attorney general who made up his mind that he was going to take me to court by all means. I was serving us at that material point in time. But because I knew I was not guilty, mm -hmm. he, already, he even got the judge to declare me wanted. And I went to the court to say I was not served. And the judge was very shocked that, oh, if he was not said, okay. why did you come to say he so, was so not said? But the bottom line of it was I didn't go through trial because the case was dismissed. Okay. But what if I didn't have the guts, uh -huh. as I had, mm -hmm. to show up and clear myself? What I'm trying to say here is Nigerians should sip the wheat from the shaft. Okay, I hear you. And, 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 and nobody, no, no, nobody, nobody's immune, case, nobody's yes. immune to abuse of power. At all, nobody is. And but the part of the attorney general is what I should say is very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> no, ve okay. You need to read the constitution it, to see the powers of the attorney general. Well, in, interesting point. It's and, very powerful. You know, um, and so it, he it, must it, be it, very conscious in using those powers. It's going to be left to the court, isn't it? Absolutely. To determine if any of what Ken has pointed out has played into this. And I like the fact that Ken himself said that um, courts, judges, what they do is they evidence. look at the, the evidence before, before you, you and then the man or the woman, Absolutely. for that matter, uh, comes up with his own. Absolutely. So there's no question that um, there might, you see, this whole, the, the problem that, um, well, the issue that uh, Ken brought up about uh, his supposing that the main reason for this is to get some people out of office. Um, but without prejudice to that fact, uh, that is going to be a sort of additional benefit. It's not the primary issue. The primary issue that they seek to determine now is whether a crime was committed. And being elected Senate President is not a crime. Yes. So nobody can, nobody's even bringing that uh, up. Absolutely. So these are the interesting issues. And that's why we're, we're opening the phones because it'll be interesting to hear. Uh, we are very, very interested. Uh, all of this is on our behalf, we the people. All of this is for our benefit. And uh, we'll, the lawyers are going to have their day in court today. Absolutely. Maybe by tomorrow we'll be able to now listen to the technical aspects of uh, what these matters are. But we thought that today we should just look at what do people think. And um, if you look at it, as Ken has indicated, not everybody is on the same side mm -hmm. in this whole matter. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is on the There are those who, as I said, have brought up the word sanctity. Uh, in relation to the National Assembly because of this particular case. Now, the, 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 the issue perhaps is, is that not a red herring, this whole sanctity, sanctity matter? 
the, 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 the National Assembly is highly respected. It's, it's a powerful institution. Yes. Uh, there are people that make it up. Mm -hmm. For instance, as you know, we have our problems with uh, three representatives in the U.S. and all of that. Will you now say the whole National Assembly is Randy so and so? No, of so, course So no, these, of course are not. The, these are the these are how we have to maneuver yes. between no, but, these. But, but, no, so, sorry, mm. I, I, it'll come to you. Mm. Yes, please. If you want to comment, the, the point here is very simple. He he even answered the whole question when he said that um, that the the, I, the whole idea to is to punish so that. It will act as, as a, deterrent. a deterrent and that's what societies that's how societies are purified if i may use the word when you know that if you do wrong you will be punished an example has been set you have you have exemplified leadership in, in all realms you have a decent society you have people respect law we will no longer be a lawless society mm -hmm. and 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 you know we in his intro that was the response that that was in fact before we even came on, on set I heard him use the, the word that it will act as a as, a, as, a, as an, a deterrent and that is the responsibility of the agf for me it's a very simple issue by this time tomorrow we would have finished analyzing uh, what the court uh, would have would have done today or is doing right now mm -hmm. so it's very simple now you mentioned the the issue of the sexual um, uh, drama yes it the same thing. The, the probe and the investigation has to be done to see if it tallies with what the accusation and all that. When that is done, then we can ask for remedy. We can, whatever. But that sanctity must be comprehensive. And indeed. And, and in that case, you as know, you know, there, be there have been protestations from the honorable members concerned that it is not as is being painted. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, it's so like. There, there's got to be a, proce a process and effect leading to us knowing. What really transferred? Okay. Um, calling in from Abuja, Mr. Mahmoud. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Yori. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning to your best. Oh, yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah. Please go ahead. A, yeah, this is a fundamental issue uh, that, that brought us on um, leadership policy. Uh, even though um, the, the other guest, Ken, said uh, he doesn't see the link between this and Saraki and the Corona I uh, must understand that um, the structure or the foundation upon which uh, and the Kuramadi and my Senate President and Deputy Senate President is based on a particular document. And if that document is faulty, then definitely they also have issues for us uh, after the process in which led them to become the Senate President and the Deputy Senate President. But beyond that, I think this is also a reflection of the fact that. Uh, we do not be able to use the political solution to our problem because I believe that as an issue, when the issue of the crisis started, I thought that we should have had a more better political solution to the crisis rather than this project issue we have in the APC. I know they, they, have, they have some mechanism to be used to uh, resolve the problem, but I think that still in actually resolving this problem because this for the issue, I can explain from an APC center that the leader should have the, 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 the solution should have gone to the past court before going into the court cases. It's a mess. You must agree that this is a scandal and it's something which we are not also talking about on the center. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for calling in, Mr. Mahmoud. It wasn't the best of lines, mm -hmm. but um, I think the central plank of Mr. Mahmoud's uh, submission was that, look, he was hoping and would have wished for uh, a political resolution of this issue. Uh, before it's come full glare, legal. and uh, now we're going the legal option. Uh, it's an interesting point because um, a lot of people would also have imagined that that attempt might have been made. Mm. So it might well be that opportunities were missed within the party to pursue Mr. Mahmoud's suggestion. Otherwise, um, I don't know. What, what do you think? And you're the no, politician. The truth about it is you don't bring a political solution to a criminal to, to where the crime has been committed. Mm. I, don't sub, I don't subscribe to that. Yeah. I believe if, they, there's, if there's crime, if you can establish that th there's a criminal infraction, mm -hmm. that should be treated. There should be no political solution to it. The only thing that I think that what bothers Mahmoud here, and which is what I was pointing out, is the premise on which the petition was written. 
It was written by those who wanted these two people out of office, who felt shortchanged that they were not in the Senate. They were not in the Senate well, as well, at that material you, you, point in you, time you, you, when they were elected. Like that. You, you're no, phrasing it like that. No, that is I'm a politician. No, no. Yeah, I know, but you're but phrasing it like that. But by the time it now came but, to the but police... But this is not politics. No, by the time it came to the police, it took another dimension. Yes. Just like I said, I don't want the criminal aspect to be swept under the carpet. Yes. The police took over the criminal aspect and submitted their findings to the Attorney General, who has now suggested, in his own wisdom, mm -hmm. that they should charge these people to court. So the bottom line is, it goes beyond okay. political solutions. I'm going to come solution. to you again, but let me bring yes. in uh, Abdul Karim okay. calling in from uh, Iola. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Abdul Karim. Uh, the lines from up country are funny today. Mr. Abdul Karim, can you hear us? Good morning. Uh, it's clear that he, he, it's clear that he can't. Uh, see if you can get us again, Mr. Abdul Karim. We'll be delighted to have you. Um, the, interesting point. Okay, yes, see, that see, look, sorry, can I, okay. so that we sort of balance okay, it Okay, I wanted you to know. just give you one last point. Uh, uh, you, it, it, it'll come back to you. The, this whole, the, the, the whole, the, the way Ken is phrasing this is that the protest was brought by those who did not want Saraki to become Senate president. That doesn't account for the fact that there's, there's a, a criminal allegation. There's an alle allegation of a crime. Uh, it well, it, 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 of course, it also mops up what he has just mm -mm -mm. said. But you can't go to court and mm. say, I'm here because I don't want this man as Senate president. Absolutely. So the, the, and, 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 and that is the fact that we have to concentrate like on. Ab absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got to be technical. Yes. He's like um, football. Uh, but I missed that, uh, Mr. Abdul Karim. But let me take Reverend Dominic and I'll come straight back to you. Uh, good morning. Good, good morning, Reverend Dominic. Yeah, how are you, Chief Jory? Very well. How is your guest today? Indeed. Thank you very much for calling in. What, what Sorry, do you think of the matter? The issue on the ground borders on every Nigerian that has political conscience. Borders on every Nigerian that is interested in the progress of Nigeria. This mess has gone for too long. I listened to the chief week last night on channel. On channel, the chief week of APC, the chief of National Assembly, in a day. It seems to me, when it comes to corruption in this nation, all politicians are in the same platform. The way Adeye analyzed the matter last night shows that we can cut, nothing will come out of the trial. That the highest a civil servant will go to prison. And the, the senator, or what I understand, I'm trying to analyze this work, that this senator will pay the civil servant heavy. It, it will seem as the civil servant went to be a bit in prison. That's the work we can get. That the senator, Sariki and their company, he has majority in the Senate. How could you take a nation for this right? When the issue of Panama paper came out, an island prime minister resigned, just for a rumor. This man has gone to court. We are trying number three man on top on criminal matters, and senators are going with him back and forth. What is the sanctity of a senate? If that senate leadership is not pure, then if you want to go to what you go with a clean hand, if you want to go to a good, you go to a clean hand. What kind of clean hand do we have for leadership in the senate? I have something against your, uh, your guest here, yeah, my good friend, one in suit, that the one who put us in this mess, and this mess the PDP have put this nation. If kids not taken, may drag us down, may God forbid. All right, then. Thank you very much, Reverend Dominic. Um, yeah, so to so now give you, you a chance. If you, if you follow the, the rhetorics, mm -hmm. the narrative, you just, you know, not here, no day. You have enemies. That's what politicians have. <laughs> <laughs> the game of politics, politics is an arm of democracy. That's yes. the way it is. Whether it's in Britain, yeah, whether yeah, it's yeah. in the United States. Sometimes I listen so, to our people and I'm amazed. So there are opponents. That, I mean, yes. you're, you're trying to score a goal in the other's team. Yeah, he, he, he used the football Look, analogy. Do you know that on, on Saturday night or which day, I was so angry and I was bitter as if I was fighting with somebody. Poland was not supposed to move to the next quarterfinal. <laughs> they didn't play good. But they scored. How do you commit forgery? How do you put yourself in a vulnerable position in a place where you know allegedly, we're not, yeah, allegedly, allegedly. 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 forget mm -hmm. my forgive mm -hmm. my ignorance mm -hmm. <laughs> how do you play into the hands of your enemies how do you say you are you're dealing with the issue of forgery and you're saying it was it can be done by anybody it's politics look sarah that you're talking about go to 
the state where he came from. It's the same game that I've been playing for the past 16 years. Mm -hmm. I think that the, we're in the right place. We're in the court. Yeah, okay. When we get to the court, the court will explain. Yeah. But all this back and forth, back and forth. No, no, no. It yeah. does not address well, the well, that's what we, the people, do. Yeah. And that's why that's we thank God we have forth. courts. And when you talk, now they say you are in APD, APD, it does PDB <laughs> or PC. I am a Nigerian. I love this nation. And you check out the newspaper. Okay. Nobody's addressing the issue of Nigeria. Everybody is talking for Salaki, mm -hmm. for this one, for that one, APC. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Nigeria has been here. Before these political parties were registered, yeah. I remain a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Anything that is nationalistic, that is nationalism, I'm all for it. Take our newspapers. Nobody cares about this country. Uh, talking about a man who is supposed to have retired to his village okay. for all the crimes that he has One moment, please. Uh, Mr. George calling in from uh, Benue. Good morning. Yes, Mr. Yuri, good morning. Thank you for calling in. Yes, thank you so very much. Go ahead, please. You, okay, now. Sorry, I want to be very economical in the use of my words. But I am confused at this point, and I want to seek for clarification, Mr. Yuri. Go Hello, ahead, please. Yuri. Go ahead, please. Okay. Now, in as much as we know that Mr. Saraki, Mr. Ike Kweremadu were not leaders of the Senate as as when this exercise has been alleged for this. I understand the lawyer, I mean, the gentleman on the black suit with the red tie yeah. said, that it is not, I mean, it is not fair for anybody to have feel that. And, and so the Senate President Bukhara Saraki and then Senator Ike Kwere Madu were not leaders of the Senate. But would they have had any power to suggest or say or order or direct the clerk of the House of the National Assembly to forge this law in their favor? Mm. My confusion is this, Mr. Yuri. I have been listening to the man in suit as he expresses his feelings. Mr. Okulubo. So like I said, hello? Mr. Okulubo. Yes, yes. Like I said, I mean, is it also possible that Dr. Saraki, as a consensus candidate of the Senate President, and then, of course, we are going to bring up Mr. Ike Kuremadu as a deputy Senate President? In as much my position is this, because they knew that Saraki was coming in as a consensus candidate of the Senate, I mean, as the Senate president, and he came when the mother was going to deputize. Of course, it is possible. Look, Mr. Yori, let us say fast. It is possible that with the money, these people had told sorry, that they had, can actually claim anything and do. Deliberately. Because the clerk of the House of Assembly was there, and they knew that this man was a consensus candidate, it was possible that they could tell him to, sorry, bro, Oga, this is what we want, this is what the presidency has said, this is what should be done, and then you can do this for us, and it will be done. So I don't like the situation where he's saying that they were not leaders of the Senate and it is not possible for them to have changed or forged, like alleged, for them to have been tabled in the course of the elections as Senate and Deputy Senate President of the Senate. That is my position, Mr. Yuri. And I want to thank you very much for it, Mr. George. Quite a lengthy one, in fact, so much so that we're going to quickly go to a break now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We'll continue receiving your calls.